Hello everyone, it's Lori at designs.ca. I'm going to show you today how you can draw a ball cap using Inkscape. And basically what I've done here, you can see I've got this picture which came from Pixabay. So this is essentially a sketch and I've gone over it with marker so you can see it better. But of course then when I took the picture it kind of came out blurry. So, But anyway, it's a direct trace of this hat right here. And I've just added a little bit underneath here, that's about it. So we'll get started here. So here's my sketch. It's locked on a different layer, so I can't move it around. I'm just going to grab the pen tool and um, do a couple of shortcuts that I've, I've gone over in other videos. To use the pen tool, you need to press uh, Control L to get a corner. So let's say we click here and we click here, and then we have you know our green line and our red line, but it's it's curved, right? So what let's say if we want to get a corner, we just press Shift and the letter L. And here's our corner. Okay, the other one is uh, if I press Control Z, I'll go back here, I'll click and pull. Same thing, you can press Shift and the letter U. But uh, this one gives you two handles and it gives you, it kind of gives you a curve as well. Um, you can go back and edit your handles as well. But Shift L is the one that I use, so that's what we'll be using today. So let's get started. We'll click on the graphic, just clicking and pulling and you don't have to be exact as your sketch because your sketch isn't perfect either. So I'm just going to click here and then nothing fancy, just going back with my shape. So I'm actually going to turn that red. I'll press shift and red so that you can see it a little better. And I think I'll, uh, I'll go to the edit paths node, or sorry, the stroke and fill panel here. We'll pop that up to 10 so you can see it even better. And there we go. Uh, maybe I'll get a rounded corners and rounded joints. That looks good too. So I'll close that up so we have more space to design. And back to the pen tool. Let's click off the graphic so we deselect everything first and then we'll go to the pen tool. And I'm going to turn these snaps on. I generally have them on or off. I usually just click this button and these three come back on. So it helps me to snap onto things like that. And if you don't like what you drew, just press uh, Control Z and you can undo it. I'm just basically clicking and pulling. And you'll see when the when the green and the and this red line here, you want to kind of make sure it's smooth where they join before you let go. See how it's nice and smooth there? That way you don't have to come back and edit all the time, although uh, it's, it's uh, not really a problem if you go back and edit. Okay, so I've completed that. I'm going to press, uh, yeah, I'll just press enter actually. So this one I'll select it. I'll press shift and red. And again, I'll go to the fill and stroke just so you can see it. See what we're doing here. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the pen tool. Click up here. Click down here and I'll just pull, press enter, turn it red, and then we'll go to the fill and stroke, 10 pixels, enter. I don't to worry about that after. Grab the pen tool, click, and click and pull. What it's about, clicking and pulling, just press enter. Press shift in red so we can see it. 10 looking good. Um, okay, so let's go to the nodes tool here. Maybe I'll I'll turn these snaps off. To, like I said, I frequently turn them on and off as I need them. Might move that over just a little bit. Yeah, okay. So I'll grab the circle tool here. I'm just gonna create a little ellipse. And I think I'll just fill it in solid, solid, and press shift and X. I'll get rid of the stroke there. And position. Let's see how that looks. Down, down. 
All right, good enough for now. I'm not going to fuss with it too much. Um, so we can go back here and we can edit things that we don't like. And, you know, make them rounder. Um, I'm just going to draw this little bit down here and then this dash line that I made also. Click off the graphic, grab the pen tool, and I'll turn those snaps on. And enter shift red 10 pixels. I actually used the power stroke for this um, this little part here on the first one. It's not really necessary. I mean, you can do the whole thing in power stroke. Um, yeah, I'm not going to fuss with it too much because it's, it's a tutorial. But, uh, let's see, dash, dash line. So basically, I'm just going to kind of try and follow the contour of this line with the pen tool. So I'll start about here. And click and pull, nice and smooth, enter. And I'll turn that, no, oh, it's red already. Give it, to, I'm gonna give it a five stroke. Shift to red, there we go. Well, I'm not going to fuss with it too much. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a dash line, and I honestly can't remember which one I gave it. I well, think it was that one. This one? Something like that. This one? No. This one. Probably that one. Yeah, it looks all right. Uh, let's try six. I'll leave it. Um, let's see here. Okay, so I think I'm going to grab everything now. I'm going to move it down here and have a look. So I'm going to select all of my strokes here. Actually, I'll select everything. And I'll go path, stroke to path. And path union. I'm going to make it all one up. Actually, that's what I didn't want to do. I wanted to, you see this stroke is a lot bigger, so I'm just going to take all of the stroke pieces. I can do this. Okay, and I'm going to bump it up to, let's try 15. I forget. I think it was 15. Let's try 20 and see what that looks like. Okay. Well, we'll go with 20, and then I'm going to go select that. Move it up. Okay. So I'll select everything. We'll go path, stroke to path, and then path union. So now we've got this. All as one object, I'm going to go to Path, Path Effects. And when it comes up, it'll look like this. Click on your plus sign here. We're going to look for corners. Click on that. And we get this uh, pop up here. And I don't actually want to, I don't want to round every corner. I just want to round some of them. So I'm going to do it individually. But if you wanted to round all of them, you could just click this button here. Let's see what it does. See, that's uh, it's not quite what I'm going for here. 
They want something a little more subtle. So I'm just going to go to the nodes tool and zoom in here. Click this one. Because I used um, rounded cap and rounded join, it's going to have some rounding to it already. But in here, I think it gives it a lot more character to have these rounded uh, corners here. Over here. Okay, so when you finish doing that, you just go to path, object to path, and then it's finalized. And we can choose, well, I chose a nice navy blue, um, something like that, darker. Maybe. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, that is how you can draw a hat, a ball cap from Sketch using Inkscape and the pen tool. If you like the tutorial, please do hit the like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.